vlog so as you guys can see i just woke up on it and all um literally just woke up about five minutes ago contemplating what i want to like go back to sleep because it is a bit early it's only 8 15 um and technically i really don't need to get my day started until like 12. so i guess it's not too bad of a thing that i'm up earlier than i wanted to be um so i'll actually get to take my time install my wig do everything else that i have to do um so on today's agenda what i have to do is obviously take my baby outside give him a nice little walk because i'm not quite sure how long i'm gonna be going for um i'm going on a lunch date today we're just about to go just be girls honestly and i'm gonna be taking you guys along with me um today is thursday tomorrow's friday i actually wanted to like do a lot this weekend so if i get to do everything that i set out to do i would definitely be um you know bringing you guys along what's not but yeah so i think what i'm gonna do is i wanted to reinstall my curl I'm just gonna install my curly wig and just give her some good just give her a good wash um some good TLC some hydration just some well needed love um let her air dry a little bit and then we'll install her probably gonna end up turning her into a glueless wig because I just can't be bothered to like go the extra mile to install a wig right now like I just don't feel like doing that so I'm gonna turn her into a glueless wig. But as you guys can see, I also got my nails done. And I absolutely hate it. Now, don't get me wrong, it took me a while to hate my nails. It took me a minute to hate my nails. Um, This approximately lasts me about two days. I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like immediately after I got it done. And that's what it stayed like for like two days. I kid you not, two days. So I got my nails done on Friday and today is Thursday. I'm not quite sure if I mentioned that to you guys, but today's Thursday. And this is what my nails look like about two, three days after getting it done. Right? Still good. Still liking it. Still feeling it. Cool. Um, just a little backstory. I'm pretty sure I mentioned to you guys, with me personally, I like to keep two of everything. Um I don't really let nobody play my hair like that, honestly, because I don't have time to be that upset and that annoyed. So I really just do my hair myself, my makeup myself, because you guys may or may not know, but I'm also a makeup artist um, part-time. So yeah. But I have two nail tech, two lash tech. All right, so that way... You know how you put somebody on to someone and then they start getting extremely busy. I have no problem because, girl, you know. So, with my nail tech that I always go to, these are the type of sets that I get from her. Like, these are the type of nails that I be getting from her. Always, always love them. Um, Never had an issue. My nails would be lasting me for weeks upon weeks before the design even get faded, before my nails even start growing out. And her set could potentially last you a month. And I'm not the type of girl to get a fill. I would rather just get my nails soaked off and get a fresh new set. If you know me, you know I always got my nails done. So, the one that I usually go to, her bookings does not align with my schedule. Like, I have a full schedule if you guys don't know. I work in the medical field, so my schedule is kind of like up and down where it's just like some days are busier than some some days i might get out earlier than some but our schedule don't really align with each other with my schedule it's just convenient for me to have two but at this point um i'm just gonna keep my one nail tack and if i need me a quick little set i'll just go to the regular nail shop and honestly um i haven't really been getting long nails like that like if you guys know then you know my nails are always like xl I haven't really been doing that. I have been getting like the shorties. And that wasn't my vibe. But I'm not going to hold you. They be eating. So I've been getting them. But yeah, no. And at first, I was really trying to like justify it. I was just like, mm, 
you know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm tired. My hands are looking kind of funny. Da, 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 da. But I really sat down one day at work and I'm just like, okay, I haven't really did anything today. Like, I just did paperwork, just did lab work. I haven't really, like, felt on anything. So it's not no chemical, not no type of nothing that I'm using at work because I always have gloves on. The the only time I don't have gloves on is if I'm like doing paperwork because I don't really need it. So I was trying to like you know, and then the gems came off one by one. I was just, I'm just over it. So even the color of like I did matte top coat, and even the color of the acrylic is starting to look a little bit on the dirtier side. No matter how much I wash it and scrub it, it's just not looking like. It was looking before which is kind of frustrating because like i feel as if you're a service provider it doesn't matter what field you're in if i am paying you for a service i feel as if you should take your time to complete that service because i feel like people have it messed up these days whereas for me personally being a service provider also i want to make sure that my clients are happy i'm going to give you what you want but i'm also going to give you what i can do and what i mean do what i can do is that if you bring a certain style whether it's like a hairstyle or makeup look um that you want me to do if i know for a fact i have never done that or i know for a fact that i have only done it once is not really my strong suit i'm gonna let you know like hey i'm not quite sure this is gonna come out to your expectation just i'm just not trying to leave no room for like disappointment you know with me it's just like i like to make sure that everyone leaves my chair happy because at the end of the day whatever i do my name is attached to it even if it's the eyebrows even if it's you buying a pair of lashes from me my name is attached to it so it's just like i want to make sure that i'm giving the best quality of whatever i'm doing and i'm just not doing it for the money like, I think a lot of people get into service providing just because they think it's quick money. But also, your name is attached to everything you do. So if you're going to do it, do it correctly. They're like that. Yes, yeah, so guys, just take your time when you're providing a service to someone because at the end of the day, your name is attached to it. And this is like a word to mouth kind of shit because it's just like if I have a bad experience with you, and somebody sees my nail, they're gonna be like, oh my God, girl, where you got your nails from? I'm not putting them onto you because you're not gonna BS them like you BS my hand. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and then that's another thing, but that's a whole different story. Though. I'm not even gonna get into that. Like, there's so much that I can say pertaining to, mm -mm. yeah, but now I'm just gonna leave it as that. But yeah, so I absolutely don't like it. Um, I honestly just wanted to go get it removed and get some top coat and just have a nude set. I was even thinking about getting a cut down also because this is not kind of over the length. And I think it's mainly because the design is not designing. So I'm kind of over the length. I even posted yesterday, like a little boomerang, and I was just like, hey, the hair with my nails because i'm honestly beyond the point like i know somebody's probably gonna be like why didn't you just let her know that your nails are not like you know lasting da, 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 da. i have done it twice before whereas she but yeah like i said i know somebody's gonna be like why didn't you just tell her but i have um in the past and i don't feel as if it made a difference but I'm the type of person that also, I I just wanted to give you a second chance. And you feel that that second chance. So I'm just going to stick to my one nail tech, even though she's really far away from me. And our schedule doesn't really align with each other. I'm just going to make the best of it. And then whenever I need like a quick set, I'm just going to go to the, um, the nail shop and get it done there. Call it a day. That way nobody has problems. But I'm about to go um, take care of that wig, let it air dry, take a shower, do my skincare, and I'm probably going to record a get ready with me for TikTok. So I have to make sure my phone is charged, get my tripod, and my Bluetooth button.
so yeah once i am ready like completely ready to go to lunch and like truly start my day definitely gonna pick my camera up but in the meantime i'm gonna let it charge because i realized that my camera has been dying very very fast lately so i'm honestly probably gonna um go camera shopping before the end of the month or something but until then i just gotta make it shake make it do what it do but yeah that they throw in there and excedrin because your girl got a migraine a bottle of water and some caffeine um some dunkin donut to snack in and then i also got me a 
like a chip but yeah and i need a caffeine because this is gonna get me through the next six hours of my shift but i'm gonna warm this up because um i think it's kind of cold so i'm gonna warm it up salon i got a gel pedicure i took a break from the friendships because i was doing french all summer um so i took a break so i just went back to get my pink color that i usually get on my toe so once it comes to my feet i go between three different designs which is usually just white you know the white we have in girl and choco so i do white blush pink or friendship but for the past couple months i have been doing french dip on my nails and my toes back to back so i took a break and i went back to just a basic um gel petty with the 601 color which is like a ballet pink just a very mild pink color gotta cut down and then i also did these on my nails yeah so yeah i'm tired and then I just did something different on the nails, but it's not really too different. The middle finger is really the most different for me because even though I'm into like diamonds and bling out nail, I never really do the whole nail. But honestly, I just let May do whatever she wants. Only thing I really wanted was the butterfly and she wanted to cover the entire nail in diamonds. So I just let her have it because she's usually pretty good at what she do and she never really disappoints. So ended up liking it the extra short set is different though because if you guys know me then you know i love me a xl nail but i have been taking a break from those i'll probably bring them back for my birthday um but yeah i really just just get my nail shorts just for peace of mind for the patients because if you guys don't know i work in healthcare um and even though your job requires you to have very clean cut looking nails nothing too crazy nothing too long is really for the patient safety and, sanit and sanitary purposes so i was just like whatever um so i'm giving the long nails a break and i was still somewhat getting it quote unquote certain people will still consider it long but to me it's short this is just a overlay over my natural nails so technically this is the length of my natural nail there's just still acrylic over it and i actually don't mind it like this like i really don't mind it like this um so yeah i'm actually gonna take a nap because i have reached that age where naps are mandatory now like midday and i really want to go out tonight but that depends on how we feel um if we're not too tired or anything like that and then if we don't go out tonight then tomorrow night definitely but we're going out this weekend and i'm taking you guys with me so i'll probably pick my camera back i'm just gonna pick the camera back up after i nap i'm also hungry so i'm probably just gonna grab something to eat take a nap and then just if i'm going out tonight get ready um with you guys on camera but i actually did everything that i set out to do today like i installed my closure wig last night and this is a closure wig that i constructed last night um once again taking a break from something else which is frontal because i'm actually get, getting tired of um just not even installing it and wearing it just the the tan line that i usually have after wearing a frontal for so long so i'm going back to closures and i'm going back to um to traditional sew-ins so yeah 
count me in for those. Um, so if y'all hair company want to sponsor me with a closure wig, do that, do that. Because I'm tired of the frontals. Like, the frontal need a break. But, yeah, I'm going to eat. Did my nails, did my toes, eyebrows. So, we're pretty much all set for the weekend. And a not the stress will work great. So, yay. But, also, um, I did a new intro and outro so please let me know how you guys are feeling about it i really do enjoy both of them um but let me know what you guys think of my new intro and outro in the comment section but let me go take a nap before i start getting cranky and snapping on people but yeah okay y'all so face is beat makeup by you know the very best um but yeah something light on the face lashes of course is luxurious lashes by tiffany co um i'm gonna insert videos and pictures of my outfit i'm kind of pressed for a time but i know i told you guys that i was gonna do a get ready with me and i didn't so i have some makeup for it but yeah i'm gonna grab me a jacket because it's kind of nippy outside and if you know me then you know i get cold really really fast but yeah i'm also gonna walk with slides because it's kind of raining outside and i would rather be safe than sorry so we have options okay but i am gonna insert videos and pictures of my of the rest of my night just end up the vlog like very cute you know but yeah let's go